So magandang araw, nandito na tayo sa ikapitong linggo ng first quarter natin at ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay pang grade 7. So sa linggong to, ito ang most essential learning competency na kailangan matutunan ng ating mga grade 7. Estimate the square root of a whole number to the nearest hundreds. At pagkatapos na estimate yung square root ng whole number to the nearest hundreds, kailangan din matutunan nila na ma-plot ang mga yon sa number line. Okay, so para sa example number one tayo. So example number one, so the direction here is we are about to uh, give the approximate value of square root of 3. So dito, the circle 1 is the square root of 3. So recall muna tayo, square root of 1 natin, the principal root of this is positive 1. So ibig sabihin, this is rational. Square root of 4, this is equivalent to 2. The principal root of square root of 4 is positive 2. And then this is also a rational. Square root of 2, this is irrational. Square root of 3, this is irrational. So, bakit irrational yung square root of 2 at square root of 3 natin? Because uh, we can't find ways to make this one as a fraction. Hindi natin siya may convert into a fraction. We can convert that one into a decimal number, but not into a fraction, kaya hindi siya rational. So, dito, uh, may example is, we're about to approximate the square root of 3. So, how to approximate that one? So, una, we need to locate yung pinakamalapit sa kanya na perfect square number. So, the perfect square number to square root of 3 is 1. So, we will get the square root of that. So, we have 1. So, here, we will have 1. 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3. Okay, so I will repeat. So we could have a 1.1 to 1.9. But take a look at the distance of square root of 3 from 1. So kung titignan natin, halos lumagpas sa kalahati between the distance of square root of 1 to square root of 4. Since the square root of 4 is 2 and then square root of 1 is 1, so ibig sabihin na sa between 1 and 2 ang ating square root of 3. So kung magna number line tayo, locating 1. So if this is our positive 1, our positive 2 is here. So ibig sabihin, somewhere between 1 and 2 ang ating square root of 3. So nandito si square root of 2, nandito si square root of 3. But where? Diyan sa uh, space na yan, between 1 and 2, ang location ng ating square root of 2 at square root of 3. So here, since medyo malapit siya kay 2, so we could have uh, 1.6. Okay, so ang gitna natin ay 1.5. Pero kung titignan natin, medyo malapit pa siya doon eh. So between 1.5, 1.6. So, Etong dalawang to, kukuhaan natin ngayon ng square. So, we will square those uh, numbers. So, let us check. So, we have 1.5 square. This means 1.5 times 1.5. So, get the product. 5 times 5, 25. 1 times 5, 5. Plus 2, 7. 1 times 5, 5. 1 times 1, 1. So we have 5, 12, 1, 2. Uh, how many decimal numbers after the decimal point? We have 1 and then 2 in our uh, product. So we have 2 decimal place here. So 1, 2. So we have 2.25.
Okay, so we have 2.25. Kung titignan natin, we are about to compare that 1 to 3. Medyo malayo pa sa 3. So, we will check 1.6. So, 1.6 square. So, we will have 1.6 times 1.6. So, we have 6 times 6, 36. 1 times 6, 6 plus 3, 9. Then, we have 6 and 1. So, we have 6 here, 15. 256. Two decimal, uh, the numbers after the decimal point in our uh, product or in our multiplicand and multiplier, we have 1, 2. So, two decimal places sa ating uh, product. So, we have 2.56. Kung titignan natin, compare that 1 to 3, medyo malayo-layo pa. So, we will make it 1.7. So, check natin ang 1.7. So, kung nag-start tayo kay 1.1, .1, sobrang layo, di ba? So, kay 1.7 tayo. So, 1.7 square. So, we have 1.7 times 1.7. 7 times 7, 49. 1 times 7, 7. Plus 4, we have 11. Then, we have... 1 times 7, 7, 1 times 1 is 1. Then here we have 9, we have 8, we have 2. Then 2 decimal places. So multiplicand and multiplier natin. So we have 2.89 2 or 2 and 89 hundredths. Okay, so dito, so 1.7 medyo malapit na. Kailangan din natin itry si 1.8. Okay, so ito, uh, tatanggalin ko na ito kasi medyo malayo pa dito ang 3. Okay. Okay, so check natin ngayon si 1.8. Okay. So check natin ang 1.8. So 1.8 squared, so that is equivalent to 1.8 times 1.8. And then here, 8 times 8, 64. 1 times 8, 8. 9, 10, 14. Okay, and then, 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. We have 4, we have 12, we have 3. Kung titignan natin, 3.24, nag-exceed na siya sa 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang square root of 3 natin ay between 1.7 at 1.8. And then, kung dito ay sumobra na kay uh, 3.24, so medyo sumobra na siya eh. So, next na gagawin naman natin ay eto. Since nearest nakuha pa lang natin ay nearest tenths. So, nearest hundreds naman tayo. So, we will get the Okay. So, kung ang 1.7 natin ay 2.89, eto naman ay 3.24, no? 3.24. So, dito, we will have a 1.72 1 1.73, 1.73, 1.75, 1.76, up to 1.8. Ayan. So, try natin ang kalahati. So, 1.75 tayo. So, 1.75. Okay. 1.75 square. So, this is equivalent to 1.75 times 1.75. Okay? So, 5 times 5, 25. We have 7 times 5, we have 35, 36, 37. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 3, 8. Okay, next. 7 times 5, erase muna natin ito, baka makonfuse tayo. 
Okay, 7 times 5 naman tayo. That is 35. 7 times 7, 49. 49 plus 3. So, 52. 7 times 1 ay 7 plus 5. That is 12. Okay. Next, 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 1 is 1. Then, add. So, we have here 5. We have here 12. You need to be careful. Okay, we have... Uh, 9, 10, 11, we have 16, 7, 8, 9, 10, we have 3. How many decimal places sa multiplier and multiplicant natin? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, compare this 1 to 3. Ibig sabihin kapag 1.75 ay sumobra na tayo. Sumobra na tayo sa, sa 3 natin. So, we will go back to 1.74. So, we will move backward. So, 1.74. So, kunin natin ang 1.74. Okay? So, try natin. So, 1.74 square. That is equivalent to 1.74 times 1.74. So, 4 times 4, 16. 4 times 7, 28. Plus 1, 29. We have 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 2, 6. Then, 7 times 4, erase natin to. Baka makonfuse tayo mamaya. Okay, 7 times 4, we have 28. 7 times 7, 49. 49, 50, 51. 7 times 1, 7 plus 5. So that is 12. Okay, next. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 7 and then 1 times 1. Then add. We have 6. We have 17. We have 10, 11, 12. Okay, we have 7, 8, 9, 10. Carry 1, we have 30. So, kung titignan natin, ang 1.74 ay, ay, okay, so for decimal places, sorry, so dito dapat siya, 3.02. Okay, so ibig sabihin, uh, hindi ang 1.75 ang kailangan natin. So, napakalapit na kay 1.74. Okay, so si 1.74, pag in-square natin ay 3.0276. Tignan natin si 1.73. Okay, so 1.73 naman tayo. Squared natin. So, this is equivalent to, uh, this is equivalent to 1.73 times 1.73. Okay, then tignan natin. 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 7, 21. 1 times 3, 3. Plus 2, 5. Okay, tama ba? Okay, 9, 21. And then 3, 4, 5. Tama naman. Okay, set. Erase natin to. So, 7 times 3, 21. 7 times 7, 49. 49, 51. 7 times 1, 7 plus 1, 8. Okay, next, 1, erase natin ulit. So, 1 times 3, we have 3. 1 times 7, 7. 1 times 1, 1. Okay, add. We have 9, 2, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have here 15, 16. We have 2. So, kung titignan natin, ang 1.73 natin, kapag in-square natin, ay 2.6329. Ang 1.74 naman natin, pag chinek natin, ay 3.0276. Okay, so dito, okay, 
So, dito, sa part na to, kasi pwede ng etong 1.73, 1.74. Titignan natin kung saan malapit magiging 3. So, iti-check natin ngayon yung third, yung pangatlong digit ng 1.73. So, we could have 1.73. 5, i-test natin itong 1735. So, in between ito, we have 1 and 735 thousands. So, i-check natin kasi kung ang magiging result ay nag na tayo dito kay 1.735 or else ay napakalapit na doon, ang gagamitin natin ay 1.74. Pero kung hindi pa, 1.73 tayo. Okay? So, check natin. Okay, 1.735 times 1.735. Okay, so here. So, 5 times 5, 25. Okay, then 15, 16, 17. 35 plus 1. 36, we have 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Then, erase natin. Makukonfuse tayo. Next, 3 times 5, 15. 3 times 3, 9, plus 1, 10. 3 times 7, 21, plus 1, 22. We have 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2, we have 5. Okay, next, yung 7 naman. Erase natin to. Okay? 7 times 5. Okay, 7 times 5, 35. 7 times 3, uh, 21, 24. 7 times 7, 49, 50, 51. 7 times 1, 7. 8, 9, 10, 12. Okay, last tayo. So, we have here 5. We have here 3. We have here 7. We have here 1. Okay? And then add. Okay? 5. Ito naman ay 12. Okay, ito naman ay 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 20. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 3 plus 7, 10. We have 30. How many decimal places? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So, kung titignan natin, kapag 1.735 square, ay lumagpas na siya ng 3. Pero konting-konti lang, no? So, ibig sabihin, uh, here, we can follow 1.73. So, this one, our square root of 3, that is the value. Uh, approximately, so we will use this symbol. So, approximately equal to 1.73. So, this is now uh, the approximated value of our state. So, nakuha na natin yung approximated value ng ating square root of 3. So, ano ba yung ginawa natin? So, una, chinek natin kung ano ang pinakamalapit na perfect square number kay square root of 3. So, we have square root of 1 saka square root of 4. Kinuha natin yung value. So, we have 1 and then 2. And then dito, tinignan natin kung saan siya malapit. So, sumobra kay... Uh, sa kalahati. So, ang ginamit natin kanina ay parang 1.5 uh, kulang pa. So, ginamit natin si 1.6 kulang pa and then nakita natin na ito ay uh, nas, napapagitnaan ng 1.7 at 1.8. And then, after natin malocate yung 1.7 at 1.8, so, since to the nearest hundreds tayo, kailangan natin makita din yung susunod pa dito. So, we tried here, uh, 170, okay, 173, and then 174. Nung kinuha natin si, kasi nasa gitna ng 1.7 at 
8 natin ay 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, up to 1.79. Kasi after that, 1.8 na. ba? Diba? So yung mga uh, decimal numbers in between 1.7 and 1.8, yun ang itetest ulit natin para makita natin kung saan pinakamalapit yung square root of 3 natin. At dito, nakita natin na ay napapagitnaan siya ng 1.73 at 1.74. Okay, so dito. And then, para makapag-decide tayo kung alin ba dito sa dalawa ang magiging sagot natin, 1.73 at 1.74, chinect din natin sa kalahati nito kung anong magiging decision natin. Kasi, nung tinest natin si 1.73, kasi meron pa tayong 1.731, 1.732, 1.733, up to 1.739. Because after that ay 1.74 na. So, yung mga number na yun, nag-test ako din sa kalahati, 1.735. Nung tinest ko yung 1.735, binisquare ko, ang naging result ay 3.01. So, ibig sabihin yung 1.735 ay sumobra na ako. So, since sumobra na ako, ang kailangan, ang decision ko ay etong 1.73 ang gagamitin ko. Kasi ibig sabihin, kung sumobra na ako, naging 3 plus na, okay, naging 3 plus na, ibig sabihin, sumobra na din siya dito kay 1.74. Ayan. Kaya ang decision na aking na na-come up ay 1.73. Pero kung after natin matest kay 1.735, and then eto ay mababa pa din, mababa kay 3, or less than 3 ang naging result natin, ang magiging decision natin ay yung 1.74. Kasi ibig sabihin, doon na palapit ang ating approximated value ng square root of 3. Okay, sani na una ba? Okay, next naman ay i-graph natin an, a number line. Okay? So, in our number line, we have here the number line. So, if this is 1, this is 2. So, this, this is 0. Positive yan. So, because it is going to the right. And then, uh, kailangan natin mag i-divide itong part na to. So, we could have 1.1, one 1.2, 1.3, 1 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then, the next that is 1.2. And then, so the value is 1.73. So, 1.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, So, 1.7. So, ibig sabihin, so, eto ang ating square root of 3. So, na-plot natin ang ating square root of 3 sa ating number line. Okay. Kung gusto yung very specific, eto, hatiin nyo ulit sa 10 parts para makuha natin yung 1.73. But, this is uh, the nearest plot sa ating number line that will correspond to our square root of 3. So, next example naman tayo. This is quite complicated kasi kumuha ko sa medyo last part ng uh, up to 100 na uh, perfect square numbers. Okay, so dito, uh, the circled irrational number is the square root of 95. So, ito ang kukuhaan natin or ito yung i-estimate natin. So, we will estimate the square root of 95. To the nearest hundreds, and at the same time, we will plot uh, this one on a number line. Okay, so kung titignan natin, nilocate ko muna yung square root of 95 sa kung saan mapapansin natin ang dulo-dulo ay yung rational number or perfect square number na kapag kinuhaan natin ng square root, magiging rational siya. So, eto ay rational. Square root of 81, we have 
And then, next to that is this one. Square root of 100 is 10. This is rational. So, ibig sabihin, ang square root of 95 natin ay nasa gitna siya ng 9. Square root of 95 and then 10. So, in our number line, so, in our number line, ang kailangan natin ay 9, 10. Kasi, nandito ang ating square root of 95. Pero, hindi natin alam kung saan sa part na yan. At yun yung uh, alam ni natin kung saan part between 9 and 10 maglalay yung ating square root of 95. Okay? So, dito, makakatulong yung distansya ng square root of 81 to square root of 100. So, kung titignan natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 divided by 2, we have a 9. So, ibig sabihin, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. So, medyo malayo pa siya. So, kung sa approximation natin, nasa, okay, 9.1, so, in between kasi, we have 9.1 to 9.9. So, Kung more than kalahate, ibig sabihin, ang ititest natin or gagamitin natin mamaya ay greater than 9.5. Diba? So, try natin ang 9.6. Okay, try natin ang 9.6. Try din natin ang 9.7. Try din natin ang 9.8. So, yan. So, titignan natin kung saan uh, maglalay yung ating... Uh, 95. Okay? So we have square. So let us square this one. This is equivalent to 9.6 times 9.6. Okay, medyo komplikado kasi medyo higher than 5. So we will use our hand to multiply this one. Pero kung sa ulada ang multiplication table, mas maganda, mas mahina. So, 6 times 6, 36. Okay, 9 times 6, so we have 6 and the 9. So, that is... Okay, so 6 times 9 or 9 times 6, we have 54. Tama ba? Okay, 54. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 54. Plus uh, 3, 57. Okay, so okay na tayo doon. Okay. So next, ito naman. Okay, 9 times 6. Ano nga ulit yun? Okay, 9 times 6, we have 54. Okay. So for here, then here, I 5. 9 times 9, 81. 86. Kasi plus 5. Tama ba? Okay, check using your calculator. So here we have 6. Here we have 11. Then here we have 12. Then here we have 9. So, 1, 2. Two decimal places sa product natin. Since we have 1, 2, 2 numbers after the decimal point sa ating multiply and multiply count. Okay, kung titignan natin, ang layo niya pa sa 95. So, try natin ang 9.7. So, ikukumpare natin siya dito sa radical sa 95. Malayo pa. So, Try natin ang 9.7. Okay, square natin. That is equivalent to 9.7 times 9.7. Okay, 7 times 7, 49. Tama ba? Okay, then, uh, 7 times 9, we have 63. Okay, 63 plus 4, 67. Okay, next, 9 times 7, erase na natin pa. Para hindi tayo makonfuse. Okay, 9 times 7, 63. Okay, 9 times 9, 81, 87. Okay, we have 9. We have 7 plus 3, 10. Carry 1. We have 7, 7, 14. Okay, carry 1. Then we have 9. Two decimal places. So that is 94.09. Okay. 
So, compare that one to, okay, compare that one to 95, okay, medyo malayo pa, no? Okay, so, ibig sabihin, try natin ngayon si 9.8. So, 9.8, we will square this, so we will have 9.8 times 9.8. 8 times 8, 64. And then, 9 times 8, we have 72. Plus 6, 78. Then, erase natin yung carry natin kasi baka makonfuse tayo. Okay, again, 9 times 8, we have 72. Then, 9 times 9, 81. Plus 7, 80. 88. Okay. Then, we have 4 here. We have 0, 1, kasi 10. So, we have 8, 8, 16. We have 9. Okay, dito, 2 decimal places. Kung titignan natin, pag 9.896, kapag 9.7 square, we have 94. So, compare this one here, sumobra na tayo kay 95, naging 96 na. Ito naman, kulang. So, ibig sabihin, ang, ano natin, ay, ang square root of 95 natin, lies between 9.7 and 9.8 lies between 9.7 and 9.8 so lagay natin dito na, since na determine na natin so 9.7 okay so 9.7 saka 9.8 okay so next na gagawin natin Okay, medyo mabusisi, no? Okay, but using your calculator, madali lang siya. Pero, syempre, kailangan alam natin manually kasi paano kung walang calculator during the time na pinapahanap sa atin ito. Okay, so ngayon naman ay 9.7 saka 9.8. So, since uh, nearest hundreds tayo, so, ibig sabihin, we, we still have here in between, so, in between ito, we still have 9.71 to 9.79. Uh, so, meron pa tayo dito. So, test natin yung kalahati. So, we have 9.75. So, tignan natin. So, sa 9.75, dun tayo mag-adjust kung uh, move uh, backward tayo or onward tayo. Okay? Test natin si 9. 9.75 then square. Ibig sabihin, 9.75 times 9.75. Okay? Multiply natin. 5 times 5, 25. 5 times 7, 35. 36, 37. Okay? Then, 9 times 5, we have 45, 46, 47, 48. Okay, so we have this one. Okay, then erase natin to. Okay, so 45, 48. Sana ay tama. Baka may hilo na ako ah. Okay, next. So, ito naman. 7 times 5. So, 7 times 5, 35. Then, 7 times 7 natin, 49, 50, 52. Then, 7 times uh, 9 tayo. So, 7 and then 9, we have 63. 63 plus 5, 68. Okay, 68. Okay, erase natin yung carry natin. Then, next number, 9 times 5. Okay, 9 times 5, 45. Okay, then, 9 times 7, we have 63 plus 4, 67. Okay. Then 9 times 9, 81, 87. Okay. So we have here 5, at na natin to. We have here 12, carry 1. We have 9, 10, 11, 16, carry 1. We have, uh, eto 15, 8 plus 7, uh, 15 yan, plus 5, 20. 
We have 13, 14, 15. We have 9. Okay. So, kung titignan natin, ito ay, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. 95.06. So, ibig sabihin, we will move backward, not onwards. Okay. So, test natin si 9.74. Okay, dito naman si 9.74. Okay. 9.74 then squared. So that is 9.74 times 9.74. Okay, get the product. 4 times 4, 16. 4 times 7, 28. Plus 1, 29. Okay, 9 times 4 here, 9, 9, 18, 36, 37, 38. Okay, tama ba? 16, 1, 28, 29, so 9, 2, and then 9, 9, 18, 18, 18, 36, 37, 38. Okay, so tama naman. Then, bura natin yung carry. Okay, next. Uh, 7 times 4, 7, 7, 14, 28, 7, 7, 49, 51. Okay, seven ta uh, 9 times 7, 63, 63, plus 5, 68. Okay, next. 9 times 4, 9, 9, 18, 18, 18, 18 36. Okay, 9 times 7 ulit tayo, 63. 63 plus 3, 66. 9 times 9, 81, 87. Okay, then we have 6 here, add na ito. We have 17. We have 9, 10, 16. Okay, then we have here 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then we have 13, 14. We have 9. Okay. So again, tignan natin. 6, 17, 8, 9, 10, 16, carry 1. We have 4, 10, 18, carry 1. We have 15, uh, 13, 14, carry 1. Then 1 plus 8, 9. Then 4 decimal places. So, kung titignan natin, 94.86 and the 95.06. So, if it lies between... Okay. So, kanina ay naipakita na natin yung uh, computation natin at nakita natin ang square root of 95 lies between 9.74 and 9.75. And then, at this moment, we will decide kung alin dito ang approximated value natin. Ito ba o ito? Saan ba siya mas malapit? Dito ba o dito? So here, uh, kasi in between them, meron pa tayong 9.741, 9.742, up to 9.749. Okay. So sa gitna noon, we have 9.745. So dito tayo magtitest kapag uh, below pa ang nakuha natin dito, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin natin ay yung 9.75. Kasi pag ni-round off natin yung 4, uh, nearest hundreds tayo, pag 5 to, ibig sabihin ay 9.75 ang gagamitin natin. So, eto yun. Okay? So, na-multiply ko na, Nakuha ko na yung product nung ano natin, nung una natin, yung 5 times uh, the multiplicand. Okay, 4 naman tayo. So, erase ko to. Okay, so 4 times 5, that is 20. 4 times 4, 16. 17, 18 tayo. Then, 28, 29. Then we have 9, 9, 18, 30, 6, 38. Okay. Next, erase yung carry. Baka ma-confuse tayo. So, 7, 5. 
32. Then, 7 times 9, 63. 68. Tama ba? Okay, 7 and 9. Okay, tama, 63 plus 5, 68. Okay, so next naman. Okay, 9 times 5, that is 45. Okay, 45. 9 times 4, 18, 36, 36, 40. Okay, 9763 ba? Tama ba? 9763 67. Same carry. 99, we have 81, 81, 87. Okay, next, add. So we have 5, we have 2, then we have e to 15. Uh, plus 5, 20. We have 10, 20, 25. We have, okay, 6, 7, 8. 8 plus 8, 16. Then here we have, this is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 13, 14. Then, here we have 9. How many decimal places? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so ngayon, nung tinest natin yung 9.745 squared ay 94.96. So, ibig sabihin, uh, we will move forward, 9.746. Pero kung titignan natin, since 5 na to, at still, acceptable na to eh. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, ira-round off natin to kasi pasok siya dito. So, magiging 9.75 na dapat ang sagot at hindi yung 9.74. So, ang decision natin ay 9.75. So, our square root of 95 is approximately equal to 9.75. Okay? Next, skill. So, i-plot-plot natin. So, dito ko na siya i-plot. So, if this is our number 9, so, that is 9.75. If this is our 0, this is 1. So, going there, we have 9 and then 10. Okay, positive 9 and then positive 10. 9.7. So, we will divide this one. So, 9.1, 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so 9.7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, nandito siya sa part na to. Okay, since 9.75, so pwedeng sa gitna rin noon. Okay, so kung eto ang 9.7 natin, 9.8, so in between them, so dito. Kasi pwede pa tayo mag-count dun eh. So, eto ang ating square root of 95, which is equivalent to 9.75. So, eto na ang pagkakaplat natin. So, sana yung naunawaan at sana ay masagutan nyo ang module ninyo. So, medyo mahirap-hirap or mahaba-habang computation. So, ang advice ko na lang sa inyo ay pwedeng katabi natin ang ating calculator para once na nag-multiply tayo manually, i-check natin using our calculator kung tama ba. And then, kung may napansin kayong mali sa aking dinidiscuss, just uh, inform me para makita ko at mabago ko yung video natin. Maraming salamat at sana'y makatulong ito sa inyo.